Welcome to Reactual. How's everyone during to dark to dark? All right, so before I get officially started, the music that you hear in the background is by a producer called Technoax. He makes royalty-free music. Follow him on uh, YouTube and also Spotify. I'm sick and tired of you keeping on living. Relax! Your hurts! Your hurts! Get, get, it, get out of here! I'm not gonna look at you. Nope, stop. I'm not ready to look at you yet. Why do we dream and what does it mean? Sleep experts explain. See, I'll be fucking saving some weird shit to talk about on Reactual. Maybe you dream that you're flying, or that you show up for an important event unprepared, or that your teeth are loose or rotting. You might wonder what sex dreams mean, what dreams about death mean, or what pregnancy dreams mean. Your dreams must mean something, right? Could be. How long is this article? I don't know why the fuck I say that. <laughs> I'm not reading about that. I just added this in because it's absolutely one of the, the things that I hate. <laughs> I, okay, so if you go to the gym or some shit like that, uh, I hate the word that you're training. Like, it's never made any fucking sense to me. Like, training for what? Exactly. And this is the thing. If you're a fucking professional athlete or some shit, that makes fucking sense. That makes sense. Okay, you're training for a damn competition. You're training for a weight, whatever. You're training. But I hate people who just work out and say, Oh, I'm training. Bitch, what, for the zombie apocalypse? That don't make any fucking sense. The word train. Oh, I gotta go train today. For what? For what? What you gotta train for? In case you're training on a car, possibly landing on your child or something, and you gotta pick it up. What are you training for? Just say work out, literally. Everyone... <laughs> Since the beginning of time says, hey, I'm going to go work out. Oh, what doing today? We go work out. Oh, yes, games, bro. Hey, I'm going to go work out, but you want to say train to make it sound more fucking professional. Stop saying that unless you're actually training for something. I hate that word. Why did that even, why did that word even, why was it even fucking made? Just say you're going to work out. The mass shooting, there was a mass shooting apparently, and I hadn't read up on it too much, so let's read up on it right now. Quadruple A in the building was identified by authorities Tuesday as the gunman who opened fire at the King Super's grocery store in Colorado, killing 10 people, including Boulder police officer. The name of the 21 year old suspect who was in custody was released at a news conference by Boulder police chief. Wait, why was he arrested? Who did not disclose a possible motive for Monday's bloodshed? At a news. Oh, the name. I thought he was released from jail. I'm like, I feel like that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> If someone goes on a shooting spree, you absolutely shouldn't <laughs> release them. A search for the suspect's suburban Denver home turned up other weapons. A senior law enforcement source said Tuesday the weapon used in the attack was an AR-15 style pistol modified with an arm brace, according to the source. Authorities have said they believe Alyssa was the only person involved, but there is it Alyssa with no additional threat to the community. The suspect has been charged with 10 counts of first degree murder and one charge of attempted murder. Does it say why he did it? The warrant described Alyssa as being armed with either blah blah blah, senior law enforcement. So he's a bitch, pretty much. I fucking hate, I hate, I, I, I hate people like this. Lock out his face, fucking hate him forever. His other suspects, but he did ask to speak to his mother. Fuck that, you don't get to speak to her. So, this is, the, the, when that shit, that, that kind of shit happens, that just literally shows how much of a fucking coward you are. Because you want to go into a fucking area and kill ten goddamn people. But then you're fucking scared to get shot yourself, so you strip down so they won't fucking shoot and kill you? Why the fuck? You're nothing but a fucking bitch and a coward. The brothers told CNN on Tuesday that the high school bullies made fun of Alyssa's name and for being Muslim, and that may have contributed to him becoming antisocial. People choose not to mess with him because of his temper. People choose not to really talk to him because of all how he acted and things that's... So, yeah, he was very alone. In these cases, you don't even fucking know what the person was like beforehand. And that's what bothers me because... I feel like people don't just snap for no fucking reason. But also, that doesn't give them... Like, whatever their reason is to snap, that doesn't give them a reason to snap. And go and kill fucking ten random ass people. That's a bitch move in general. I've been through a lot of shit myself. Everybody's been through a lot of fucking shit theirself. You are 
so weak to the point to where you want to take your frustration out on 10 complete strangers or more, whatever the fuck the case is, even one fucking stranger. You need help. Let's have become increasingly paranoid around 2014, believing he was being followed and chased. According to his brother, at one point the young man covered the camera on his computer with duct tape so he could not be seen, said the brother who lives with Alyssa. So, either he was fucking doing something he felt paranoid about, or he had to do something or some shit because that doesn't make any fucking sense. Unless he's just, he's got some mental issues and he believed his former high school had been hacking into his phone. What the fuck? Yeah, he has some mental issues. That's I, I, I wonder if he was like looking into something or trying to be a part of something. And then he got extremely fucking paranoid. That's such a, you never expect anybody to do some shit like this. Uh, I went to fucking school with... God, let me think off the top of my head. Okay, so off the top of my head, I can think of four people that I even went to school with that ended up fucking murdering somebody. Like, it's, it's so fucking strange because one of them, the dude, like, killed both of his parents. And this, this guy, I remember going to school with him and him putting his, like, fucking arm around me. And we were, like, buddy buddies. And I even low-key thought he was attractive. And then a few years later, my other buddy was like, hey, have you heard the news? And told me about, like, him killing his adopted parents. And I'm like, like, you don't you don't expect that kind of shit it's just so fucking like absurd to think that someone you know and someone that you hung out with someone could do some shit like that another guy fucking shot and killed another guy that apparently had something to do with fucking drugs but also had to do with a girlfriend or some shit like that this was a guy that i had multiple fucking classes with and, and he was a cool guy i mean like he talked shit and i mean like was the typical guy who would I don't even know how to explain this like he was a hard ass but like in a playful kind of way but like I wouldn't expect that shit from him I think my friend actually dated him before and there was nothing there I know another guy that I actually went to school with I guess got onto some kind of drugs one day randomly someone had messaged me and was like, oh, so you're on so-and-so's shit list, too. And I'm like, what do you mean? And this motherfucker had went back on my Facebook, like, years and years ago, maybe five or six years ago, and had said something about a status that I had posted in that time. Here it is, like, 2013 or some shit. And in 2000 and fucking 2009 through 2012, I was fucking... I was real weird. I like wrote cryptic shit, and um, I probably I guess I posted something on Facebook, and I don't know why I remember this status, but I do remember posting it. That I was like, oh, just just believe if I wanted to, I could, and it probably had nothing to do with anything except from some maybe some high school drama bullshit, uh, passively threatening like one of the people that was getting on my nerves or some shit like that, and. He had found that post. Don't know fucking how. I guess maybe he went to my Facebook and scrolled all the way to that fucking date or some shit and was fucking stalking my page. On, I mean, I wasn't the only one he was stalking. He was stalking the shit out of another one of my friends. And it's just like, ugh, it's so fucking strange how people can just, like, something could go off in their head, but I do know that he was into drugs, and he was doing drugs and shit like that, so I'm sure that played a part, but Jesus Christ. This fucking guy, from what I see, took his damn, obviously, it took his, uh, love, I didn't mean to lie, get my bad. Took his fucking kid into a damn, an oh. enclosure. Like, why? <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. People like this should not have fucking children. I don't understand why they would. Oh. Like, I don't understand if he wanted to be the center of attention. I don't understand. Oh. So fucking stupid. I don't understand. Like, I hate that people like this have kids. Amanda. Amanda, honey. You didn't have to use an emoji. <laughs> The elephant is protecting his environment. He feels threatened. Absolutely unacceptable. The park also needs to make a barrier wall from this to from this happening again. 
Bitch, they got a barrier wall right fucking there. There's literally one right there. With your fucking elephant emoji using ass for no reason. I feel like natural selection is doing his job, me too. So, wait. YouTube people? I wonder if he was doing it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. No one learned from Harambe, R.I.P. Somehow I feel like this is all Joe Biden's fault. How many more sickness do you need that animals don't belong in zoos? Your ticket funds. Animal cruelty. Uh, while I agree, a lot of zoos are horrific. San Diego isn't one of them. They do research to help animals and often take ones that were in danger. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, in some cases, fucking zoos save animals. Elephants die being free. You're a dumb bitch. That is not what the fucking take. What? If, I mean, fucking technically. I mean, I wouldn't, if they live in fucking Africa and shit like that, then okay. But, if you're born in captivity and that is your natural habitat and shit, like, you're not gonna know any fucking difference, so. And if you're endangered, then, see, that's why I see from different sides. I guess it just depends on how, how it ends up. To, why has nobody asked why nobody tried to stop him? Yes, he deserves to lose custody slash visitation. She already took it to the next level. ETC, but the onlookers were also criminally neglectful. That's a full grown ass motherfucking man. Twitch streamer's funny reaction to classic. This made me mad, but I put it on here because it is kind of funny. Because I was doing this shit. I, I was doing this. I, I played this damn game before anybody. Go look on my Instagram. And I bet my reaction's funnier. Alley oop me. Yup. Oh my god. This is. Game over. Psst. What do you mean game over? Hey. Uh. What do you mean game over? What do you mean? What do you mean it starts? What do you mean it starts? That's not really funny. Oh you know what? My Let's Plays better. Go on my YouTube. ifnjax.youtube.com. Just kidding. YouTube.com slash ifnjax. And look at my Lion King Let's Play. Because I'm funnier than this hoe right here. And she shouldn't have gotten credit. I should have. It was all me. 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 I don't know why she was. <laughs> I'm the first to play Lion King online. I thought my microphone was shocking me again. Girl who didn't know. Okay. So I heard about this on a damn on a podcast so apparently there was a girl apparently there was a girl on the titanic she was like a teenager or some shit when it happened she was not aware that the titanic was actually singing till t-i-l that titanic survivor katherine gildna who was 16 when the titanic sank didn't realize the seriousness of the ship situation until she reached <laughs> new york she thought that the disembarking and lifeboats and being picked up by another ship was all part of the journey. <laughs> Damn teenager, she was probably texting the whole time, <laughs> oblivious to the front. <laughs> this bitch, hold on, hold on, hold on. What, uh, what the fuck? And when did you first realize how serious the trouble was? Oh, I didn't until I got to this country. I, I thought it was part of the trip, part of the trip. I, I didn't realize that there was any danger. You didn't realize there was any danger? No. I thought that that was a pretty hard way to get here, but I, I, I didn't really think it was as bad as it was. She had to have been like one of the first ones that was on a lifeboat or some shit. Because I feel like the panic of the people <laughs> is a dead giveaway that something was wrong. <laughs> when the alarm was sounded, what happened? Well, I, I was asleep at the time. And I <laughs> I took a nap. I was sleeping. I thought then the ship had landed. <laughs> she thought the ship has landed. She said, oh, well, <laughs> we're here. She sound like the Paris Hilton of the 1957. Did you see the Titanic sending up rockets? Oh, yes. They kept sending them up until the last minute. But I just thought that they were fireworks, to be honest. <laughs> I thought that that was part of the show. <laughs> and you've never been back to Ireland since? Never back since. You've never no. been to see again? No, never. I'd like to go if I, oh, oh. but then I get the chills and I say, no, I won't. Damn, she never went back either. She said, I'm going to go for a trip on the Titanic and then <laughs> it's going to wreck. I'll never go back to France. She literally, she blocked everybody from her country.